Park fans, it's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Taste Kitchen, and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, Merry Trailer Park Christmas. I'm so excited to spend the holidays with you. I'm releasing a brand new video every day until December 25th. And if you're following along with your calendar that you printed out at TrailerParkChristmas.com, you'll see that today is hot dog soup. And I've got some hot dogs here. And you know, some families have these all the time. And it's always hot dog this, maybe some chili on it. But you know, it gets boring and you have to change out every now and then. Well today, it's a great soup out of hot dogs. And it's just a great thing that you can fix up on a cold winter's night. Now, I've been getting some comments here lately that people are saying, Jolene, you can't have pork on Christmas. They say that you can't do that, and you can't have it anytime, any way else, because that's what they say. Well, I'm not an expert on religion, and you may have to check your religious scriptures to make sure if this is right for you. And all I have to say is that the God that I believe in He's okay that I love bacon, and that's all right, and I'm still getting over. Last week, they said that um, Noah's Ark had dinosaurs on it. Can you believe that? I can just imagine that back in the olden times, Noah rounding up all the animals. Come on, get in the ark. Oh, isn't that cute? A little chipmunk. Go on up there. And then a horse. Oh, that's pretty. Just trot on up there into the ark. And then it gets to the T-Rex. And, you know, I've seen Jurassic Park, and that's that's crazy. I feel sorry for Noah, and I think we all know what happened to the unicorns now that T-Rex got them. But today I'm going to show you how to make a great soup out of hot dogs. It's up next on Trailer Park Christmas 2012. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Making the hot dog soup is really simple, and you'll need a big old bowl to start with, and you're going to make this up on the stove top. Next up, on medium-high heat, you can go ahead and set that on your stove top like that. I've chopped up one onion, and this is just a yellow onion, I think, and this just goes right on in there, just like that into the bowl. And I've got a two tablespoon block of butter. That goes right on in there. And we're gonna be mixing this around until the onions become translucent and that they're cooked a little bit. So let's get that going. There we go, our onions have softened now and gotten a little bit translucent. And I chopped up three potatoes and I'm just gonna put those into the mixture just like that. I just made cubes. Well, maybe I need to hit the bowl with those, but let's go ahead and put those in there just like that. And now what I've got to do is put water in there up over the potatoes, not too much over the potatoes. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, there we go. I put some water over the potatoes so it's just covering them. We're gonna add just a little bit of salt. You can do this to taste. But we're gonna bring this up to a boil for maybe about one or two minutes. So raise up the heat a little bit and I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, the potatoes have only been boiling for about a few minutes, and that's okay because you're going to keep boiling this soup. What we're going to do now is add two cups of chicken broth right on in there. So pour that in there just like that. Now, this is where it can change to how your family likes it. So go ahead and leave a comment down at the bottom about how you would change this out. Now, this is just a general spice blend that I use in everything. That goes right on in there just like that. Here's some black pepper. I wanted to spice it up just like that. And I like some garlic powder. So let's go ahead and put some garlic powder in there. Now, like I said, you can add any spices to your heart's content. 
Um, just be careful not to over salt it because the hot dogs are really salty. Now, the basic recipe, I use frozen green beans, and this is a 16 ounce package. That goes right on in there, and I, I save a few. That, that's for a future soup, so that's okay, so not the whole package. If you don't like green beans, maybe use a different vegetable. That's okay. Then what I like to use is what I call Mexicorn. It's just got the sweet red and green peppers in there. So go ahead and dump a can of that in there, just like that. And then what we're gonna do is add, this is eight ounces of tomato sauce, and that goes right on into the bowl, just like that. And we're gonna pour that right on in there, right on into the bowl. And this is a whole package of hot dogs. And that goes right on in there, and you can slice them up in pennies or with the little curly cues, whatever, whatever looks fancy to you. Go ahead and do that, whatever makes you happy for the holidays. Oops, we got to get that one in a minute, but um, we're going to put that in the bowl just like that. And now, we're going to stir this around and bring this up to a boil again because the potatoes still have to cook and the green beans have to thaw a little bit. But then you should start tasting it after it starts cooking a little bit and adjust the spices to your needs. So I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, our hot dog soup has been simmering now for about 10 minutes, and now is the time to give it a taste to make sure that all the flavor is okay with you. So let's get a taste of the broth. And I'm gonna add a little bit more garlic, I think. So let's go ahead and add that in there, just like that. A little bit more of my spice blend. And it definitely needs a little bit more salt to my taste, so let's go ahead and add that in there just like that and I was thinking it needed something green floating in there so let's go ahead and add some oregano flakes in there to make it look pretty and we're just gonna stew this for as long as we need it and get all the flavors all together and I'll check back with you in just a moment And there you have it, my hot dog soup. Well, you can't see it. I'm using a recycled whipped cream tub. I'll tell you, I'm not good at all that recycling stuff, but give me something that I can wash out and use as plateware, and I'm there. But I see the potatoes and the hot dog all sliced up pretty, and the green beans and the onions. And as I said, you could spice this up any way that you want it, or you could change out the vegetables, the broth, is really great. It, it really changes out according to the spices or whatever vegetables that you like. Leave a comment down at the bottom of how you would change this out, but I can't wait to try this. Let me get a little bit of the hot dog and the potatoes and the green beans. Mmm. Mmm. The green beans and the potatoes and the corn and the taste of the hot dog has really livened up with all the spices and it really tastes like something fancy in this soup and that broth is really good too especially with my spices that I just mixed up there you could use your own I told you about that before but this is so great for a cold winter's night and really changes up the hot dog thing everybody just has hot dogs all the time why not make a soup out of it and it was so easy I hope you get a chance to make my hot dog soup. And if you do, send me pictures at JoleneSugarBaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow the trailer park on Twitter. I'm Jolene's trailer there. And of course, add me on Google+. I'm there too. There's a video every day until December 25th. So download your free calendar at trailerparkchristmas.com. And of course, subscribe so you know what's coming out. And tune in tomorrow for a cinnamon holiday ornament craft. It's so simple. They make great gifts. So tune in tomorrow, and I'll see you tomorrow. I love you, and Merry Trailer Park Christmas. Enjoy. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue-eyed shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with Bye. pride in the double wide. Trailer Park Queen.
visit my store at TrailerParkStore.com. Spend the holidays, the trailer park away. 